And how can somebody join your team? How can, how, how does that happen? Do you have, is there an interview process? Do you have a say in that? And what do you look for in somebody? Yeah, so on the brokerage side, I have a say in it. There's a, so what I'm looking for in a broker is somebody who has a, 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 an education of like a, a university education okay. minimum. You know, typically minimum is a university education. Uh, finance background is, is good. Um, mm -hmm. Marketing background is good as well. Um, and then you also have to have obviously a license from the OSIC, which is a regulatory body here in Quebec, which allows you to, to do brokerage transactions. Mm -hmm. And so that so typically a lot of people that I meet out of universities don't have that accreditation. So they have to go and, and, and study for another six to nine months. Okay. And do an exam. Sometimes I meet some people that um, are in the process of doing their exam and, and getting their accreditation from the OSIC. But typically those are the, you know, those are the kind of the two main criteria uh, for me even before looking at a CV. Okay. But in terms okay. of uh, philosophy, for example, in our company, we try to hire happy people. Like they right. have to have this thing about them that says, you know what, maybe this, this person could be uh, more uh, easily... Uh, trained or something like that this attitude positive attitude is that something that you look forward to certainly love positive attitudes if you don't have a positive attitude in this business you're not going to last very long because you've got to be you know i mean think about right now when the world i like to say the world the apocalypse of the grocery store run for toilet paper on march 12th in quebec you know everything looked like it was going to be it was going to be a disaster right yes. so um so if you're not positive and you don't have a positive outlook on life, it's going to be very, very challenging to be in this, to be in business, forget yes, real for sure. estate, mm -hmm. you know, to be an entrepreneur, it's going to be, it's going to be very difficult, especially if, like I said, if you're getting 90 no's out of a hundred, 90 people telling you no all the time, it gets discouraging. So if yeah. you don't have a positive outlook, the other thing I look for in people um, that want to join us is a trustworthiness. And I know that's not always easy. It's not always easy to, to test for, and it's not easy to, to tell. But we, I mean, I look at the CV, and I kind of, I kind of try to understand the pattern. And for me, looking at CV, um, you know, it says gives us a snapshot of what the person has done in the past. But I always like to get into the details of what they did, what they enjoyed, what they didn't enjoy in in their in their uh, career so mm -hmm. or or at least you know spend, well when it's when it's junior brokers of course it's mostly summer jobs that you're looking at so but i always like to understand you know how they got the jobs uh what they were doing what they learned uh, but for me trustworthiness is the is the big one you have to be able to trust uh the brokers um you know the people that we're hiring because um you know our clients are in their hands our brand is in their hands and that's mm -hmm. so important and really, do you ever, did you ever do business with somebody you didn't trust? Maybe. Of it was the first and last time you did it. <laughs> exactly. so, so, you know, you want to do business with people you trust. And, 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 um, and so for me, that's primordial, as they say in French. It's, uh, it's, it's top priority. 